The chasm's bed underneath the nail. The nail bed, as I like to call it. You know? Wait until the next day. Bro, are you... S I feel, like, I feel like the quest is trying to piss me off here, dude. What do you mean, wait until the next day? I literally did in real life! It is the next day. Yan Fei, hello. Oh, look at those, dude. The roasted lavender melons. I kind of want them. I kind of want them. Is that weird? Uh, there's nothing for Paimon to do here. So boring. Eat some lavender. I mean, yeah, I can imagine, actually. Th there is literally just a cave with food. Oh, oh Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again. You mean fly? We've never seen you run. That would be a sight to see, though. Can you imagine Paimon running with the little legs? <laughs> oh. All right. Fly free, then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Just like that, a whole day has gone by. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Well, we it's well, your birthday. Maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Nope. Yo, yo. Thought I heard you chatting over here. Hey, Ito, my boy. Oh, hey. Bullchucker. So well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still, nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Oh, God. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out! I want out! Have you tried hitting the wall? All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. I mean, boss, remember there's your image to consider. Huh? It's so boring. Walking around this hole every day. I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Oh, bless him. Wait a minute. Wait, what's wrong with ramen? Speaking of ramen, Traveler, are you hungry? No, really? I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Oh, Who shit. Who is the biggest eater among us? Paimon. It's definitely not me. Paimon's definitely the biggest eater. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? It's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. I, I agree. It is Paimon. What are you looking at Paimon for? Are you not hungry, Paimon? Paimon? Are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? This place is feeding us too much oxygen, so we don't know when we're hungry. What, 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 what am I missing here? Paimon said she feels like she's been here at least 20 days. Yes, I heard that too as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? And I feel like it's only been about one day. That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time. But how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't really felt hungry since. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether uh... I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. What a weird place. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. I wonder if Zhao is experiencing the same phenomenon. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? You tell everyone that you are unable to summon Zhao. It's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. Uh-oh. I found something, everyone. Yolan, what did you find? I found I just you. just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally. Let's go have a look. It's kind of weird how it you just appeared, something. though. Oh, please, please be the exit. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Oh? Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! Oh. There's a path behind here! Huh? Gotta hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. 
Yeah, thanks to Yelan. How did she dismiss the magic, though? Maybe the thing on the wrist? Miss Yelan's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place! Shit, okay. About symbols. The symbols of the platform will have different colors and images. Matching them together seems to be the key to solving the puzzle. Uh, this one? This one. Because oh! this is the first time we see in this puzzle, I think, right? This is a very, very, very cool puzzle. Order guide you. Wait. Is that little dude called Shao down there? We gotta help him. Little dude, I love that. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. Oh god. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> what the fuck? Conqueror of demons? That's not actually Zhao. Yeah, is that you? No, it's not. Uh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait. Is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? What happened? Are you okay, little dude? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? Okay, Ito, calm down! Why is it responding? What's going on here? You. Oh, he finally said something! Yeah, he said you. Oh. <laughs> oh. We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> an illusion? Y Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Uh-oh. Leave now! Get out of there! What about Zhao? Are you hurt? If he can... We should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Well, you don't Tell say. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where did he go? Warp reality? Sounds like I... he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. I'm down. Dive huh. deeper into He's the injured and us he... to be careful. It's not like we're in any danger here. Are you anyway, fucking serious, Ito? Going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way. Dude, he really Boss, is like Paimon. Please don't go charging ahead. You're an oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry. I'm invincible. <laughs> I'm glad there's pretty deep. water down Be there. Be careful, everyone. I'm glad there's fucking water down there. Holy shit. Well, Bulljucker, how's your rear? Yeah, how's your booty, Bulljucker? It's fine. God. My butt is tough. Yeah? Go ahead. You can cry <laughs> if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? <laughs> you should be feeling some serious sympathy <laughs> for me right now. Nope. Sympathy is but wouldn't uh feeling sorry for you be a violation of your <laughs> dignity? Yes. Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. Oh dude, I love this. <laughs> what is what did she point at him? What <laughs> God. Hi, Mom, don't laugh. <laughs> what is happening, dude? It's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Did she touch his Wait booty? A second. Show's not here, <laughs> but... Is that a door? Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Yeah, I Any doubt it too. With a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker. Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. 
Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off your face. Okay, Ito, you're getting All a bit right. antsy now. Watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. Wow. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. God damn it. You're not going to be able to fucking do it. You don't. You, listen, unless you get the bull out, Once maybe. This door's open, we are out of here. Oh my god, he's gonna. No, he's not. There's a key. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was th what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Huh? Tomer and Ayato? Ivaloni, be gone. Ew. You heard me. Get out of here. Right here? Who, who are you? What is going on? Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? And beans. Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Is this gonna be people's biggest fears, dude? Wait, this could be sick. Is this gonna be like the, uh, the Boggart in Harry Potter? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, <laughs> alright, uh, I'll open it again. Do it. It is, it's just, well, it's the same. Someone else open it. All you it. do is goof around all day. Fuck You're it a bad out. influence to our child. Be gone. Or oh, bad memories. Oh, it's... <laughs> Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. Oh. What's that all about? You don't want to know, people yeah, line. beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. He gave me the fright of my life. What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? That no, it's warped reality. <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. True, good point. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni. Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? No, somebody what? else open it. How could that be possible? Oh. Ugh, this place is so <sighs> weird. Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted. Open the door again and see if anything changes. You guys go right ahead. I'm not opening yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone else. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? I'd love for Paimon to open it, please. I would love for Paimon to open no it. Way. Somebody else do it. Paimon's scared. Don't do this to me. I want to learn more about you. All right. I'll try. That's our Shinobu. Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? All right. Let's see what's behind the door this time. Wait, it's the same. I think. No? Oh, shit. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... I think it's... <laughs> yeah, I think it's bad memories. Uh, Shinobu? Who is that? No way. Was that who I think it was? Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. Oh my god. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. <sighs> Your mother wanted you to become a shrine maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a shrine maiden. My family never approved of my studies. So they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. Look at that one down. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a shrine maiden is a pretty cushy job. Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. Okay. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a shrine maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. It's not going to be for That's everybody, right? right? calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you. You rock. You're totally hardcore. Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? It's true. She is You've pretty got sick. You've a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh... How are we gonna get through that? Pipe open the door, forget, please. We have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. 
If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, why? Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're going to find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So oh. I'm sure as heck not going to be the one to get us through. Not going to lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. All right, I'll try. Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah. My savior, show him what you're made of. Do you have any phobias, Yanthe? I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. I want to see like a courtroom or something. Tea and chocolates, maybe? What is this? Madam Ping? You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Guangzhou. Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. <sighs> Maybe that's why. Huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Oh, is it just any civil dispute? <sighs> No one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Mm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Pretty much. Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. Yeah, I feel it's that. Not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. <sighs> I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. Mm. I suppose there is no need to discuss this any further. Does anyone else want to try the door? Please, Paimon. Don't look at me. I told you. I'm not taking a chance with that thing. I Come on, Yelon. We're a team here. If you're not going to try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. I have a feeling she... It's going to be because she thinks something secret is going to appear, right? Like, she's a very secretive person. Maybe something for the abyss? <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang. The Tianxuan of the Qixing. There it is. The scope of my work includes some of Li Wei's biggest secrets. Yep. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? Sheesh! Wait, you do <laughs> For fuck's sake. This just gets better. Of course you don't. You're from Inazuma. She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Boss, Fuck you really hell. do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Yeah, yeah, that Look, would help. I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Uh-huh. Oh, now Paimon gets it. Yelan works for Ningguang. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? I mean, we're... Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Oh, fuck. You never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Xiao. Well, it's not going to be I Xiao, is it? A shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Fuck. Find who we're looking for. Maybe I'm always looking for someone. He is always looking for someone. This is odd. So, wait. What's Paimon looking at? Whoa. The Abyss? Wait, huh? Is this what I feared? Yo, it's fucking pretty. The exit suddenly disappeared. Is it trying to trap me in here? Yo, what? <laughs> Wait. I, huh? Hey, there you are. You sure had Paimon scared. We couldn't open the door after you went in. Everyone was super worried about you. Are you okay? Sure. Did you find anything, Traveler? No. The Abyss. I... So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? No. Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little 
unpleasant in there? Oh, we're going down a dark road here. Holy shit. Yeah, I did. Behind the door, I saw the darkness of the abyss that took my twin away. Huh? How could that be? Ah, uh, don't worry. Paimon will keep searching for her with you. Cheer up! Shit. Uh, stupid door, I'll smash you to pieces! If Paimon wasn't feeling so exhausted, she'd help out too. Uh. Hey, what is this? Nap time? Uh. Bull fucking shit. So let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wish to avoid. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. It's constantly changing. And its changes seem to be targeted at us. What? What do you mean? I don't like that. I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. Okay. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. The things we've encountered on the other side mm. of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. <sighs> On top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. Oh. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. Sure, that makes sense. <sighs> Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really tiring going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired too. Everybody's tired! <laughs> no, 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 it's all just an illusion. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. <sighs> Paimon's whole body just feels so heavy now. Hmm. Oh, shit. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before, which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse ourselves. True. She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon. You okay? Oh. I carry you? Oh. Oh, that's actually cute. Say yes. After a persistent search, you find the shortcut that takes you back to the entrance. You then return to the camp for a rest. You haven't slept at all. Are you sure you're okay? Nope. This place seems even more perilous than we first thought. Agreed. Don't worry about me. Staying focused under pressure for as long as it takes is my specialty. Dude, even that voice now, is so tired. If I'm not mistaken. Looks like you've got some new ideas. Oh? <laughs> How could you tell? It's my job to keep tabs on people. I figured as much. They're just preliminary ideas at this point, but I haven't completely thought them through yet. I'll tell you more once my ideas have taken shape. Mm. Sure. Sounds good. I also have some ideas of my own. I'll fill you in after I've confirmed some things. Seems like a productive conversation. <laughs> you think so? As they say, two Dude. heads are always better than one. It's hard to believe what we've encountered. Uh, about the door. Well, I suppose there's no use hiding it anymore now that everyone's seen it. What you all saw really was my biggest fear. I never want to become a Shrine Maiden. Who could tolerate such a boring life? Kooky. After these last few years with the Arataki gang, I suppose you could say I've seen it all. It's taken every skill in my arsenal to constantly clean up the messes they made. <laughs> I bet the it has. The of annoying things to deal with is practically endless. I am totally free in the Arataki gang. Good stuff. Strolling around the streets, roasting lavender melons with friends in the open country. I know it sounds pretty silly, but that's the life that I want. Just don't laugh at me, okay? Otherwise, you might find yourself on the receiving end of a good beating. Ushi, you sure you can't find a way back to that door again? <laughs> about the door. Ah, perfect timing. I was just having a chat with Ushi about that. You know what? 
I can handle those mean people behind the door throwing beans at me, but causing trouble for you? Nuh-uh. That ain't gonna fly with this guy. Let's go, King. Mm -hmm. Good what? shit. There's nothing we can do? Listen here, Beefcake. You shouldn't give up so easily. Can't you have one last look for it? If you really can't find it, we'll just have to find another door. With any luck, one that connects to the outside world. Hmm? You feel me? Okay, eat all calm down. By I the way, traveler, if you have a moment, could you do me a favor? I'd like to discuss something with you. Thanks for coming to speak with me, traveler. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. Just what I was thinking, Yamfei. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. I have a theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else. I agree. I agree. But his voice and image were projected to our location. Yep. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? Wait, chaotic? What do you mean? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here. Even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. If that's true... It means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. Yeah? This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. So when we saw him at the domain entrance, he didn't really go the same way as us. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. Unless this space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? She's making the videos at this point. Yep. <laughs> at first glance, the door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of. But if it manages to lure you inside... There's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? It was a spatial rift. It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. Abyssal spatial magic? Yaksha spatial magic? When Dude. we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. That's why we were interrupted? Wait, it was never part of the pl- I th What? But you just said it was to lure us in. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay. That's why we were interrupted. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. 5,000 primo this gems? This us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. Imagination. Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And break! <sighs> oh. I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. What do you mean you secretly learned Yelan's illusion breaking method without her knowing? All y'all are fucking sussy now. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. The voice is much clearer now. We're close. Uh oh, it's a spatial rift. Conqueror of demons, can you hear me? Fuck. It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Zhao, are you there? 
Uh, traveler? Yenfei? Uh-huh. It worked. You sound in pain. Are you okay? Please don't die, Xia. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, we heard the sound of you fighting. What happened? Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. Find a way to get to us. No. What do you mean, the no? The darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. Right now, we have more dangerous things to worry about than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. Please come. So, you're in danger too? Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, she said two. Oh, fuck. There was no need for you to search for me. Really sounds so like it. About you. And earlier, the traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. It's true. How do we meet? Conqueror of Demons. Can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try something there. It might work. Try I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. What do you mean, try something? Yeah, just get a bit of powder in your hand diagonally and smash it to the ground, dude. I've seen it work before. It probably work again. By try something, do you mean? Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. Hmm. Zhao? Stand back! What? <laughs> Exclamation! Ha! Oh, fuck, it worked! <sighs> Diagonally! <sighs> please explain what the fuck you actually just did. Uh, yeah, please. Oh, shit. He is badly injured. He's got like. Let's get him back to the camp. Oh, fuck, he's actually badly injured. Oh, no. Oh no, are they gonna? <sighs> wait, no now way. We can avoid getting split up. You sound like death. Oh my god, your face too. Oh. Thank you. A lot's happened here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. We can't just leave you alone. It's just a flesh wound. God You're damn. not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you. All of us. For our sake. Please. Stay here. Please. Fine. As you wish. Thank you, Xiao. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. Yeah, wait till you get better. Don't worry about anything else. <sighs> All right. Xiao has closed his eyes and seems to be resting. Could he be dreaming? This is quite astonishing. Is a Yaksha who never lowers his card capable of having dreams? You don't look well. Nope. I guess it's okay. Wait. You don't have to go into all the deep. <sighs> this is new. Sometimes I really envy the boss. Hmm. As expected, something strange is going on here. We just pulled Zhao out of a portal that was green. Oh, God. Oh, Traveler? What's up? You're both here. Great. I want to talk to you. Okay, let's all talk. We'll put our heads together. You, Yelan, and Yanfei share all the information I you have with each other. I also thought that the space was targeting us. But Yanfei managed to exploit its weakness. <laughs> Leave it to Yanfei to find a loophole. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. In addition... We must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. I went back to the Domain again just now. Although I couldn't find a new route, it wasn't a completely fruitless trip. Huh? My clan has practiced magic for generations, and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. Huh? I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the Domain. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. Electro Yaksha Catalyst user? Wait, was it, was it an illusion? I think so, but it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. I can't be sure. Also, I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, 
That confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Oh, fuck. Just like with that door. It's like it's alive and testing us. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard or to wear us down. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. What else could it be? What? I don't know. Alves, hello and goodbye. Don't spoil yourself. <laughs> we should prepare for the worst, but we mustn't give up. Agreed. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm, but even the Chishing have never heard about anything like this. The Chishing. Elon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> Actually, good point. What was that? What were you originally I fucking here for? Was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Oh, wow. Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. No one else can know otherwise. You gonna step on us? I'm telling everyone, including Ito and Ushi. We got it. Okay, never mind. What the fuck? 500 years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the seven nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liyue had ever faced. Huh. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all <gasps> hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The Yash way. Oh my god, what if it was the Yashway that he locked them down that <gasps> The Liyue army eventually won the war. But there were many who never returned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Oh wow. Everything about it was strange. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. Wow. We can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. The Chasm Cumria, what happened 500 years ago? A lot, actually. Everything apparently happened 500 fucking years ago. Now, what did Zhao see back in the other space? Who was he fighting against? Can we really get out of here in one piece? <coughs> so much lore. Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh, we'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our what is... is hidden in some detail I've overlooked. I have to go over everything again. All right. Well... Oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. No, I meant... See? If you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. Yo, look at those injuries, chat. Holy fuck, look at those injuries. I'll kiss it better, Xiao. Mwah. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Do you think she's dreaming? Oh, that's cute. Man, she looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. Oh, Uncle Ito did. And that little dude looks done in two. Ah, I'm kind of worried about him. <laughs> Oh. I sleep like this when I'm in jail. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I do slumber like a king. God fucking die. Traveler, when did you what? get here? What is that? <laughs> Don't bend down like that to look to me. I'm not little dude, okay? Now we wait for tomorrow. Fuck, dude. Fuck. I guess we fucking do.